Alright guys, sorry to cut off the amazing Disney music that you were having, but we are now back in Game 2 of the Tide Southern Cross Dota Tides Wrath Ten Season 3. The go. upper bracket, low priority kings against Mate and Six, and we saw a pretty, pretty clean victory for Mate and Six over the LPK. Uh, I'm not sure if Raidenrock's actually back with me just yet or not. Hi. I hear something. It does sound like he's here. I'll be your cast of Shads, and Ragnarok, who you can hear, unfortunately, in the background, is going to be my co-cast. He's going to be doing a little bit of little bit of Dota action with us. Uh, yeah, well, I was expecting that coming straight out. Mate and six this time. Um, they used the Weaver so well last game, and they don't want to give it away to LPK, so they're going to ban it out very early on. Um, but we do have reasonably the same bands. We have the Elder Titan being banned out as well as the Naga Sauron. And just waiting on the last band out now from low priority kings. It wouldn't surprise me at all if it's going to be a bat rider. First pick up to mate and, um, mate and six. Yeah. There we go. So the bat rider will be banned out. And now we're finally into the picks for the second game. Woo! Lifestealer. Life so it looks like they're going to go for a bit of... Let's. We'll show you how to use Lifestealer in a lane. We're going to show you how it's done. Now, that just seems... <sighs> cocky? Like no, 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 not cocky, but it's like, well, you guys can't do it, so we'll do it for you. We'll show you how to play him. It's... It's a dick move. It's oh, yes. Dick move. <laughs> uh, you know, that's what Dota is all about. And, look, it's not, it's not Dota if there's not a little bit of smack Ten talk. I mean, to go. it's like cricket. It's not cricket without sledging. Five, it's not Dota without seven. smack talk. Oh. Unless you say oh, mid or I oh, feed or call someone a noob, it's just not a real game of Dota. Well, that's the thing about that's the way about the, that's the thing about these games is you don't have to say it; you can just do it because you've got three games, um, like and the minimum of two games to basically smack talk your opponents with just the way you play and your play style. And I mean, like they're doing it right now by banning out the Weaver and picking up the Life Stealer by saying this is what you guys should have done last game. And we're just going to basically show you how it's done. But what is very interesting is Wisp is still in the match pool, and no one's picked him up yet. And I have, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if MI6 pick him up right now. He's not really in Oz Because the Wisp Dota, coupled but... with the life stealer, the Wisp with the life stealer though, very, 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 very well played. Very, very good. Could you imagine oh. a life stealer that gets an early armlet with the overcharge from Wisp? Scary. It's Bloody just scary. mean, hey, it's scary for now. Wait till next patch, it's gonna do bugger all. Wisp loses that stun no. and it just becomes a 100% move speed Wisp, slow. Wisp loses the stun, he doesn't lose the overcharge. Team so, Yet. anyone, any, Yet. any of these heroes that use it just for like overcharge, like your, like your alchemist, like your lifesteal, like your tinies a lot of the time, they will use it for mainly the overcharge, not so much on the stun Dyer's because they all have their own slows and stuns. So. Yeah. This is true. It's going to be very interesting to see how it works. Well, I just want to see some wombo combos. I mean, is that is that going to be granted to me? We did see plenty last game with the Dark Seer Jakiro and um, the other guy, Sanity Eclipse OD, and Five it was it was pretty seconds. mean. It was a mean combo. But they're trying to deny that OD's been banned out, Troll's been banned out, Weaver's been banned out, Dark Seer's been banned out. There's four of the heroes from last game gone. You're not seeing them again. We might see them tonight. I like three. I like best of threes like this. I love best of threes like this because like you what? don't get the same hero pools in both games. It's good. Life steal of Asage, that's to be expected. We've got Nyx, we've got really? Bounty Hunter, we've got Timbersaw. There's gonna have to be a gem pickup early from yeah, from Mate and Six. It's gotta happen. I was gonna say, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Visage picks up an early gem or the other support picks up an early gem. Um, most likely Visage because he's the one that kill steals a lot and gets the gold, so um, sorry, kill skewers, not kill steals. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if, um, Visage picks up a very early gem here, and I mean, like, Bounty Hunter and Nyx are just not going to be able to move around the map the way they most likely want to, unless they get a very good start. The only way they're going to be able to do it is if they get a good start, and they're going to be able to move around as freely as they want. And a Marana! That's team online. Invis! So there's going to be a team fight, and no one's going to know where anybody is, because they're all going to be standing next to each other while Invis. That's You're what's going to happen. Invis, the bounty hunter invis, and then the entirety of MI6 invis. Going, yep, guys, we're here. There you going? So all we need now is we need a Ricky and a Clinks, and we're we're pretty much good. But then we'll Ricky, Clinks, and TA. Ten 
seconds to go. That would work. But they're, they're banned slider, so they're Five not going for that. Seconds. Now, without they're being sneaky, we do have... Oh, well, Mirana so will not work enough. with their team, though. They've got a lot of slow from Lifestealer and Visage. That's just going to help Mirana lining up those uh, those arrows. But what, s support Mirana or offlane or mid? Definitely not support Mirana. I mean, like if you have a support Mirana, your other support's going to be something like a um, Naga Siren or someone with a hard stun because you want them to stun, lock them down for a couple of seconds so your arrow has tra time to travel and then stun them even longer. But we will have a Rubik pick up here, so that's going to be the secondary support um, for the Nyx Assassin. So you're going to have a lift into the Nyx uh, Vendetta um, and then the stun and Spike Carapace and Mandadrain and everything else. And yes! Earthshaker! Oh my god! You and your goddamn Earthshakers! I love Earthshaker! Uh, Earthshaker is such an amazing hero. He I know, I know you love him. And I love him. He is amazing. So we're probably going to see the Shadow Blade Div Daedalus Divine build on Earthshaker Ten this game. Um, and oh, Lifesteal yeah, sure. Life is obviously Ten going to be supporting him. This is what you want to see. This is what the viewers want to see. The chance of this happening is slim to nil. I want a solo mid Earthshaker. I would love to see a competitive game with a solo mid Earthshaker. It is ridiculously. Where'd you go? I can't hear you. Strong. I have done there it before, are. and it's just so ridiculous. Really? Yeah, there I can you hear you now. Good. Bad it's... time. Uh, I know it's. Well, I was enjoying it for a little bit. And a razor ban from oh. uh, from MI6 at the moment. So we're still trying to pick up one more hero, and it's going to be their safe lane carry for LPK. And I think I think MI6 is just going to want a an off lane or a mid at the moment. Any guesses? Uh, I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a mid. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Marana's an off lane. Ten I mean, with that lead, um, she's got it so easy on that lane. She was the original Five off laner um, in the uh, TI1. Um, just basically Reserve because of that leap um, ability being able to get away very very quickly but it also wouldn't surprise me if she went into a solo mid style role because she can farm very quickly there, she can push the lane take control of the runes very well so it, it wouldn't be and quickly a uh, shout out to Sophie um, our stats girl she is sitting in here as well I realise that we haven't done this for this match but hello to Sophie she's got to deal with that girl. shit yeah we talk so much crap I feel so sorry for her and I mean, like, this is just natural to me and Shads, because we're casters, we're, we're just made to talk shit. That's what we do. I've done plenty of shit talking in Dota, so I'm good at it now. <laughs> I, look at, I look at the yeah. 1800 hours of Dota, and I think, that's 1800 hours of smack talk. That's a good effort. You know what, I haven't actually looked at in so long how, how much, like, don't. I have up on Dota. I don't recommend it, you'll, you'll feel a little bit depressed when you look at it. I'm gonna look. I mean, like, I only got 210 hours of Global Offensive, which isn't bad. I don't want to look at Source. Yeah, 2200 hours of Source. I got to about 3000 hours of Source back in the day. And oh, yeah. now, ooh, Kunkka mid. I like this. 2000, 2008 uh, eight hours of Dota 2. You beat me, though. I like this Kunkka pickup. I like Kunkka. Shout out to Indy, because reasons. That's all you get. You get nothing more. You get shed at because reasons. Who? No oh, guy I go to uni with. He's just a bum. Ten Fair enough. That's good enough reason. Yeah, Might we, as well. I still want to know what MI6 are going to pick Five up. They've got they've got seven. plenty of stun. They've got crowd control and invoker. So there's your yes! invoker mid. This is Second I like I like <laughs> the sort of randomness that LPK and MI6 have gone. You don't see Kunkka or that often. You don't see Bounty really that often anymore. And you don't see Earthshaker or Invoker too much these days. Uh, just running quickly through the MI6 lineup, we're going to have Panda playing on that Lifestealer. Space Cadet's going to be taking up that middle lane on Invoker. Tibbers on Earthshaker. Roger Dodger on the Mirana off lane. And Tranquility, or G as it likes to be known, on Visage. We have a Panda Courier for LPK. Where? He's so cute. Oh, Captain Bamboo! I want it. Yep. Anyway, running through the team lineup now, we will have Sop playing on top of that Timbersaw. Nyx Assassin will be played by 4-2-5. Kunkka will be picked up by Bammies. Um, the 
already in Viz, Bounty Hunter will be Martin. That's going to benefit him in no way. Hung is going to be playing on that Rubik. Yeah, by the time he runs down that lane, he's going to already be visible. That, that accomplished video, so. literally nothing. Will that was, you know, the biggest seconds. waste I've ever seen. Well, it's not really a waste because basically he already had matter up. But there we go, he's going in Viz once again. One minute for Panda again. Poor bloke. I think he's having a little bit of trouble with his internet right now. Oh, um, start the timer! Oh. We did see the LPK guys have... Um, we did see the LPK guys have a little bit of trouble. And we do have uh, shout-outs now from Curling... Um, to Curl and Teo. Shout out to Naga, who's in the chat and the first name I saw. Well done. You did good. Yay, Naga. Woo. Well, he's, he's had to sit in the channels as well, and he's there to make sure that people in the SCD1 Twitch stream actually do get do get items, thankfully. Uh, so, you know, it's a big... Big effort from from both Sophie and Naga to do that. Yep. While I'm here, shout out from shout out to TT Esports, our sponsors, and for providing us with the prizes and goodies for this tournament. And of course, Southern Cross Dota. Head over to the forum, southerncrossdota.com. Come have a chat. We do things on Wednesday nights. We we play Dota and we do stuff. And there's some prizes and giveaways and things like that. There's like other forums like looking for team, looking for players, looking for scrims, all that sort of fun things. And yeah. Well, it's just actually kind of cool. We've got a pretty no decent community. We're all a bunch of good blokes and girls. Uh, so definitely check out for that. They're really not. They're really you not. You shush. Now. They're really not. Well, we, we could... <laughs> looks like we're going to have a try versus try here. And Kunker Rubik Nix up on the top lane. Against... Kunker not mid? Vas well, Timisaw. Let's begin. Hmm. Interesting. I'm a runner. We're on a Visage Earthshaker. going to be it's, there, but a Kunkka actually a going into a safe lane. Well, it, it allows them to set up easily. They've got Dumb Telekinesis, damage. they've got Impale, and they've got Torrent. That's a lot of stun coming out, and it's... You know, three of them have an AoE stun once Telekinesis does land as well. So it's going to be a good good aggressive lane to keep it definitely yeah, keep an eye on. Invoker against the Timbersaw, though. As long as Timbersaw's maxing that reactive armor, he should be... Should be alright, and life steal a bounty hunter on the bottom lane. At the moment, yeah, BH I'm gonna has spend, DD. I'm going to spend a lot of times watching this Invoker because, like, he's one of my other favorite heroes to play. Um, love Invoker just because of the skill cap on him. It just makes <laughs> life so so much fun just trying to, you know, out outplay everyone with a hero that you have to remember ten spells Denied. on. Um, and it's no ne never a good time. Never a good time. <laughs> Ten times the two to eight win yes, loss I ratio. Yes, I know, but I still love the hero. I don't care, Sophie. Everyone, I think it's cool. He looks just. I don't know. As yeah, of the last patch, he just hero. he just looks constantly angry, and I don't know if I like that or not. Um, looks like Timbersaw is actually taking a lot of damage in that middle lane. The exhort, the, the exhort from Invoker, just doing a lot of damage at the moment, and I don't know if. Yeah, he just picked up a very late invoke. Uh, and reactive armor is just not high enough level yet to, to allow him to survive and tank through those hits. If he gets a second level in it, it's going to give him 8 regen a second when he has 8 stacks. Uh, which, is, which is pretty mean to have on a on a, a timber saw, really. Let's just say a lot. Yeah. It looks like Lifesteal is actually doing quite well against, uh, against, Mar uh, against, Pan yeah, against Martin down on the bottom lane. Lifesteal of the Panda, 9 last hits. Bounty Hunter does have 5. The bounty just wants to sort of abandon that lane at six and start well, probably start roaming around, try and get the track kills. And what's what's on top lane? It looks like Kunker and oh no, Marana's seven and seven up on that top lane. Kunker is three and one. That's not good. Yeah, it's it's really not good right now. And I mean, like they did this last game, they played the aggressive try lane and they did it. And look at this, they've actually not warded in the right spot to try and get rid of that um, block that's going on up there right now. Um, so the block is going to keep continuing up here, so the supports are going to lose more and more up on this top lane from LPK, um, and all they need is at least one or two kills, and it's going to make it all worth it for the supports, uh, for MI6. And I mean, we do have, uh, Visage being played by, um, you have no right. what are we calling him? Tranquility? Tranquil! Um, Tran again. Tranquil? 
Yeah, Tranquil again. Um, Earthshaker is down here, but it does look like uh, Timbersaw has picked himself up a regen rune. Ooh. I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of fights for that because, well, Invoker just doesn't really need. Just it, quickly, Rag. In all if, honesty, I don't know if you didn't. I don't know if you saw that uh, ward on top rune. I've still got it on my screen, but if I zoom in on it, that the uh, the ward from MI6 was just outside that of of the the sentry from. Uh, from LPK, and it was really unfortunate that LPK did end up getting blocked, uh, having their camp blocked, and they were so close to countering it, they were only like a millimeter in it. And I think Space Cadets going to be a little bit. Their own camp. Well, maybe, but Space Cadets in a lot of trouble in that middle lane. Timbersaw is charging forward. Here's the Impale from 425. Hung's there to follow it up. The Sunstrike's going to come out. It's not going to do too much though, and Rubik will get first blood. Hung, who was last kill the last game, decided I don't want to carry anymore. I'm going to go onto the support. And shift things around a bit, has earned himself first blood as a few prizes go out to the fans. And the crowd goes wild. But anyway, we are back, um, and it has been rewarded up in this top lane. Now they know that there's another ward up there. Um, it will be blocking out this camp again. So this is going to be basically six minutes without any sort of pulls going on whatsoever. They have made themselves a little bit useful and may got a little bit of experience now by jumping up onto that middle lane and being able to get a kill off. I mean, the supports are what? Uh, Rubik is level two. The Nyx is level two. Um, well, we've got the other supports. Actually, they've got a lot of experience on them. Level three for the Visage, level two for the Earthshaker, nearly level three. But this is the thing, because of the, that Marana keeping off this Kunker, I mean, Kunker himself is only like level two. We do have Marana now. She is level oh. three. There goes the Fisher. We will have everything. He will run the other way from the uh, strike, but the arrow does hit. We will have a stun come out, but the solo assumption does come out from Visage for the kill secure. And these supports now have to run away. They won't be able to jump in and try and do anything in that. And they know exactly where they are because they do have their awesome portal wards just sitting behind the tower. I love these portal wards. Yeah, you're welcome for the portal, yeah. hide too. Oh, I'm giving people that. Oh, God, the overlay. Sorry, guys. My bad. I've fixed that up now. Apologies for that. People need to remind me a bit earlier. Here's a Sunstrike up on the top lane. LPK is going to block that with a really nice Carapace. Roger Dodgers now gets Telekinesis. He's going to take an Impale as well. And he's actually going to try and move back. Timbersaw comes out with a big Chakra Arm. Picks off Tranquility. And here he goes. Oh, he does manage to connect with the tree. He doesn't really have enough mana to follow it up too much. He's going to throw his Chakra Arm and Rana just leaps so gracefully over that. Like a cat flying over the moon. Or... Dyer has a hummingbird flying in the wind. Dyer's middle tower. <laughs> yeah, but that was a little bit of a bad diet there going on to him. They did give away a kill. They just wanted to pick one up. And a hand of Midas now on the life stealer. And he's able to do this because basically he can just sit there now and go, well, you guys aren't trying to do anything too bad to try and uh, lock me down. I mean, we do have an orb of venom, venom up on Bounty Hunter, as well as trying to get into his own face boots right now. And Lifesteal is just going to be able to sit here on this lane and farm up as much as he wants very, very quickly. There we go, the track does come off, and in a 1v1 battle, Lifesteal really can't take this on. Even with the armor reduction from track, he can't, but it does look like he is. And Lifesteal does actually go. get a little bit out. And Bounty Hunter very quickly goes into Invis, and Lifesteal will actually go down here. I was just saying that he shouldn't die to this Bounty Hunter, but he actually does. Um, outplayed a little bit there by Martin. I think he thought he was able to take that on a little more. He tried to run away. When there's an orb and venom on you, you can't run away, though. That's the thing. You walk way too slow, and unfortunately got picked off, especially seeing he didn't have boots, and um, Bounty Hunter already does. But Lifesteal is... Uh, sorry, Bounty Hunter is now level 8. He's got the uh, the max level Janata, two points in the Shuriken, and he's got phase boots. He bought the phase boots back at base. He's going to retreat around. He's got level A. The max Janata means he can now start to roam, which is going to give him a lot more potential for, for track as well. And they're going to want to keep... LPK really need to keep heroes like Marana down. Rana, who's already got those phase boots, and here's a big stun. Bamis is just going to go explode. Beautiful fissure arrow combo from Marana and Earthshaker, and Sunstrike just followed that up beautifully. So great coordination from Space Cadet, uh, throwing the Sunstrike in there at the end, and Bamis didn't have a chance. Yeah, but, well, this Invoker is doing quite fine in the mid lane. He does have four points up in Exhort. It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if he goes for the four points in Quas, just so he has the the um what you can do. What are they called? Forge Spirits. Dyer's Two Forge Spirits instead of just the single one. QQ, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, AEQ. 
It's what? E, Q. Two points in E, is it? it? Two in Q. Yep. Forge spirits are two points in E, one in Q. Yeah, my bad. I play a lot of invoke. I play a lot of invoke. And here we go. Bounty Hunter now coming into the mid lane. And a oh, for no pause. Right at this time. Bounty Hunter sitting staring down right now on top of the invoker. Um, is this... Wanting to get down in here. And so... that's just the time they fall. So. This is another pause for MI6. I'm going to have to keep that timer actually going. They've used a minute 40 of pause time at the moment. I'm actually lucky that I managed to keep that going. I'm impressed with myself, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at the gold and experience. It's 2k in favour of MI6 in terms of gold. Thanks, Sophie. And 1k in experience. Uh, so it's, MI6 do have a little bit of an advantage at the moment. They haven't really had that bounty as, as active as he needs to be. Um, I think... That's how I feel. What are, you, what are your thoughts, Rag? Um, I think the bounty's just been enjoying getting farmed down here on the bottom lane. Usually the reason we see him move out so quickly is because he gets forced out of a lane so um, so easily. Um, basically, one century war gets dropped down. He has to sort of hide, get the experience, and that's the biggest thing for him. He needs the experience. Um, and then he can roam around and start getting gold, but I think he's just been enjoying sitting in the lane, getting a lot of last hits, and actually farming up a bit of gold. I mean, he is 30 for 4 right now, and there we go. There is going to be a jump right now. He can't get himself into Ghost Walk because he will. There we go. There we go. We could. We have just no point to they say go again? Yeah, they said go, so they did say go, and I'm paused. So it will be fine, but Kunker is on top lane. There was a ping out there saying go on him, and they will Kunker. And will they be able to get it? The lift does come out. The stun comes out, and Mirage. Mirana could get reversed upon here, but Mirana will go down right now. So that's a, two kills on two separate lanes right now. Nixus has been picking himself up a kill on the Mirana. Hand is now running for his life on bot at bottom. He pops the infest. He's probably going to go down. There he goes. Sop and, ba and uh, Martin. Too strong with the track and the Timbersaw combo. Kills going all around for LPK at the moment. They've got their shit together this game. And they're, they're working really well as a team. The, the slight sort of rotation between, like, Who's playing what? You've Radiant's got Hung now on the support, and I think and Bammy's who's now on on the safe lane carry, and it's doing wonders for them. Yeah, Bammy's died a couple times in lane, but thankfully Timbersaw, their middle hero, has been rotating around really, really well. And he throws a chakra onto Space Cadet, doesn't actually manage to hit it. Here's the cold snap exhort damage is coming out, and it does so much damage. So it's going to go down to about yeah. half HP, bottle charge, or back to full. Yeah, plus the reactive armor charges right now. I mean, he's got two points in it, so eight stacks with one armor, one um, what was it? One armor and one regen per one. So, I mean, he's going to be fine down here going up against this uh, invoker. Invoker does manage to do a lot of damage. He does have four points in that exhort still, so he hasn't got himself up a really another level. Oh yeah, he put a one in invoke. So. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going in Kunko. It looks like he's rotating around a little bit right now. He is standing just just in front of a creep camp, and I'm not sure whether... He, yeah, I think he's going to pull it. He wants to pull it, then he wants to use to, uh, Torrent as well as Tidebringer just to uh, beat down this camp even quicker. But it does mean he's off the lane now, and he's. I think he's just trying to give his supports level My 6. That's all he's trying to do. He's going to farm in the jungle where he's trying to give his supports level 6. I don't know how that's going to work for him. He's only level 4. They need that tide ring and damage, and he's their safe lane carry. He needs. They don't. He can't afford to be giving the supports the levels over himself. They're both level five. He's level four. He the, unless they want to turn this into a support conquer, but that's just crazy talk. I mean, what are they going to get out of that? Yeah, I think what it is. I think, I think what it is is that the Kunkers not actually getting any farm on the lanes anyway right now. So down what he's going to be doing is quick engagement. Going. Panda oh. ends up taking out. Uh, Pay, taking out that Martin, and now Hung's going to teleport in, he's going to try and go on Tranquility, Tranquility does get thrown into the tower range, he's going to take a couple of hits, but nevertheless he's going to escape uh, with a nice pick off onto that Bounty Hunter who just managed to get, sorry, yeah, onto the Bounty Hunter who managed to get caught out, and here comes the Mirana ult in, it looks like Mirana wants to go hunting for Kunkka, he's going to try and find him, no he's not, what is he doing? No, I think he's just going back into the lane and he's going to farm up now. I mean, this tower's already below half HP. There's no one up here anymore. Both supports TP down to the bottom. They knew where the Kunker was because they were watching him with that ward that's sitting over the one camp that he's farming. So they know this is a free tower right now. And there we go. The tower will go down. Lifesteal has picked himself up a set of phase boots now. So he's got himself a little bit of extra damage that he's going to be able to use. And he's got the vision from the familiars from down here from Visage. And the Visage so giving you a bit of a hand. 
and a hand of Midas. So he's going to be hitting not only harder now, but a little bit faster as well. And it wouldn't surprise me now if he starts going in for that armlet. And he really needs that helmet, helmet iron will. It's going to help out quite a bit against that bounty hunter, especially early on. Definitely, and you can see the gold, the gold graph. It's in sort of dip a little bit, but it's back up about three k gold in favor of uh, MI6. But the experience is currently in LPK's favor, just because of, oh, uh, you know, because Kunga was giving, getting solo experience in the jungle and giving a little bit of XP to his supports. They are ahead. They're still a little bit behind in gold, and that's where they need Martin to start coming up and getting some of those tracks in. And it looks like there's a bit of TP support coming up to top. Bammy's is now going to be solo up on that top lane. He's got Hung coming in. Hung is level 5. Hasn't managed to pick up spell steel yet on the Rubik. And unfortunately, he's not going to really do be able to do too much. Unless they can chain that really, really well. Get the Telekinesis Torrent happening. But Rana being quite defensive. And just taking out one Ogre. And we're going to have... Yeah, because that's why she rolls. Oh, Panda, what are you doing? Martin's coming in. Here comes the track. They baited out the dust, and here's big... Oh, look at this. A great vision coming out. LPK, 425 is going to run. He's going to get a big impale off. It looks like L, uh, 425 is going to go down to Panda. Panda is going to chase. There's a big soul assumption coming out, and it finishes off the bounty hunter. Great play from MI6. They truly baited that out. And Mirana actually get a kill up on the top lane on the Kunkka, and Naga gets another item. God damn it. What the hell is this? This is not rigged. Well, it's not supposed to be. Naga rigging the competition, picking himself up as many Dying items as he wants. Um, Game is hard. Yeah, we are here. Timbers Timbersaw managed to kill off the Invoker in the mid lane as well. Um, tries to go walk away, but didn't quite make it. Looks like Invoker's in 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 actually in going. Doesn't yeah, Invoker's going for a Yule's build. I Yule's love school. this. It just means it's, it's not a build I usually go. It's not a build I usually go myself, but it is such a fantastic build. I usually get himself an, uh, an early four staff on the Invoker, but I mean, um, and get a couple of points up in Wex early on as well with the exhorts um, and Quas. So that way you got Tornado instead of having to use the Yules, you can use Tornado instead. But so much relies on getting the combo just just right for this right now. So um, he needs to have a lot of damage. He could go down. And he gets a ghost walk off, and he's going to be pretty much safe. A oh, there's a stun from Nick's assassin coming out. Space here is taking a little bit of damage, and there's the finish. Sop is going to take a stun from Mirana. Roger Dodger doing the teleport in. He's going to go on Lel PK. He's going to take a big carapace, and here comes the Fissure. Fissure blocking on 425. Hung now steals Fissure, and a little bit of a cross block. Roger Dodge is taking a bit of damage. He got stuck in the X there. X marks the spot, not from Conker, but from the Fissure combo. And Hung is going to pick up a nice, easy kill on Roger. And Invoker's been yeah. disconnected yet again. MI6 with Game of DCs at the moment. It doesn't look like they're going to pause. They've got about two and a half minutes of pause left. I don't... Are they going to... I guess they're not going to pause. Well, he's, he's still dead at the moment, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, that's what that's the thing I think it was. Is, there uh, it yeah, is. there we go. So as soon as he comes alive, they're going to pause out. And Invoker does reconnect, so this should be only a short pause. But um, a little unfortunate there, they did have a sentry sitting up there on the high ground. So um, even though Invoker went into this ghost walk, he walked into range of that sentry, so they were able to see him from that uh, from the low ground. Um, and I don't think he was uh, thinking it was there. So he might think there's actually a sentry sort of sitting, um, if I can draw on the map. Oh, we're in about there. Ping, but yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Over here. <laughs> Drawing, oh yeah, right there. So yeah, he thought there was a sentry just sort of on there. Um, but yeah. So he will be back into the lane now. He is back alive. Where is he? Yeah, he will be TPing straight back into that mid lane. So the only other tower they haven't taken yet is into that mid lane. He does have a sun strike up. It wouldn't surprise me if I see an invoke of a meteor coming up right away. That meteor just does that, so much but... damage, especially with that Yules. All you, what you it need to do for people that. watching, if you want to time it, Wait for the second rotation of the hero in the Yules, and then drop your Sunstrike and your Meteor, and then you quickly just toggle into Deafening Blast and drop it as soon as they land. But two spins is what you're looking out for. Yeah, it's just an absolutely it. ridiculous sort of combo. Um, it's more of just a single target nuke style combo though. Um, whereas if you go the other one, it's more of a uh, team sort of thing. And oh, look at the stun oh, that comes out. 425 taking a lot of damage. A little bit of damage. There he goes. It will go down, and uh, Tranquility will actually pick that up. Um, 
How with the soul assumption coming out from the Visage. And I mean, like, it was just a great combo. The Invoker mo noticed that he used up that Spike Carapace just to block the Mirana Arrow, so he's just like, I have a free reign here. Drops the Sunstrike, just times it very, very well. And there we go, another arrow goes out, and they're just diving down on this tower. The Kunkabo will come out, will hit the Invoker, and Simbasaur woo, gets out with a slither of help right now. And Invoker will jump himself up to, to the air. Invoker's going to go down, though. Run with the track down. there, and Kunkabo finishes it off with a big torrent. And it looks like even now Tranquility's in a bit of trouble. He gets a track, and there goes a long range soul assumption. And it looks like Hung did go down as well there. And here comes Roger Dodger with a double kill. He's got a lot of damage. He's got the phase boots from the Aquila. He's about 110. There's now an armlet on the life stealer. And here's 425. 425 is going to try and come out. Is he going to be able to get much off? There's track on both Versage and him. Life Stealer. They're trying to bait it. Here's the Nyx assassin. He's still hanging around. He's creeping around. Nyx, 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 Nyx. There's two sentries sitting down in this mid lane right now, and they know he's here. So they're trying to bait him out to try and come down and come across. So they're just going to be able to rip on him as quickly as they possibly can. But he is out of Vendetta now. So there is another 40 seconds on the cooldown of that. Kanga finally picks up himself up with some phase boots. Drum of Endurance on the um, Bounty Hunter as well. So Bounty's now back there. <laughs> Sunstrike goes out trying to pick off that Bounty Hunter. But unfortunately, it was just a little slow. He was man managed to make it back into the base. But this mid lane is the biggest contest right now. And this is actually probably a good thing for MI6. They already have a bit of an advantage when it comes to the farm on their Lifestealer and Invoker. And as long as they keep everyone here, they're not trying to push out other lanes. And there we go, a Deafening Blast does come out from Invoker, but won't pick up anything there. And the Rubik steals Deafening Blast. There was no follow-up stun from Mirana that time either. She didn't throw the Sacred Arrow. Uh, because obviously she just must not have had enough confidence that they could secure that fight. And it was quite smart for them not to do that, because Deafening Blast from Rubik would really just sort of disrupt that, that flow of fight. And I don't think LPK want to fight at the moment. Bamis is in the jungle trying to farm up his, his drums, and Martin's down on the bottom line who's already got a set of drums. So just a pointless bracer on Kunker at the moment, I guess. And it looks like 425 and Hunger going for a bit of a roam, and I think Visage actually spotted them out there. Oh, Nick's going to pop his vendettas. A team fight in mid, and Timbersaw ends up going down. Visage with a big pick off there. And I think I'd like now Panda... Panda's in trouble on that bottom lane. Here's the bounty hunter. He's going to go onto him. He's, the track is going to come out. And here comes Nyx Assassin to follow it up. The Impaler's going to come out. No mana burn just yet. There it is. And Panda taking too much damage. He's going to go down there. Hung 425 and Martin with a really good rotation. Caught the Life Stealer just well and truly out. And they had so much lockdown. They changed that perfectly and got themselves an, a, a relatively Dyer's easy kill. Tower is being attacked. Yeah, the Life Stealer wasn't Dyer's able to rage off at fortified. all. Um, but in the meantime, while they've done this, they've left the mid lane open now, so there's going to be... And you have a look, Visage is actually down here on this lane. He's going to be one that comes down to defend it. And we do have a drum charge that now goes off from Bounty Hunter. He just wants the bonus damage to come out from this tower. And I'm not sure whether... There we go, he's going to run away. So they're still not actually going to get a tower for this, I don't think. We do have the familiars. A Bounty Hunter is actually going to kill them off. Yeah, he will get himself a bonus 200 gold there. Did he? Or did one of the families survive? No, he gets himself a bonus 200 gold there for basically nothing. And I think Visage's whole job right now is just to deny off this tower. So he's letting the damage go down. It is in deny range now. And I think he's going to deny this off and just basically not give it to the bounty hunter. And yeah, so this is it. So the first actual bit of gold they get from towers, it actually gets denied. But meanwhile, in mid, we still have three roaming around here. We have the Kunker, the Nyx, yes. as well as the Invoker. And there we go. Bam, he's going to yeah. explode. Good big combo to Invoker. And now, 425 is taking a lot of damage as well. It's that big combo. I don't know if he tried to Vendetta then. I think he tried to Vendetta and accidentally broke it. He did. He Vendetta and broke it with his Carapace. Yeah. So quite unlucky. No, Magic wand, I think he used. Oh. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. Well, something yeah, is quite wand. unlucky there. I think MI6 are going to be take this tower down easy, and Martin's going to net himself a nice hundred gold Dyer's from do dropping that minion. It's got three hundred HP. I think he drops it in one, Radiant's one or two quick hits there. Is being and look, easy gold. Dyer's easy gold, easy life. I'm actually just going to toggle the fog at the moment. There's a screenshot Radiant's I didn't mean to take. You can see at the moment, Rag, if you if you give Dyer. Go with the dire, sorry, yeah, with the dire vision at the moment, you'll see they're all defensive wards at the moment, blocking off just above that top lane. They've got all vision around here, and it, if we have a look at what Radiant have, not that one. They've got one ward. One ward, <laughs> and it's on the bottom rune. So neither team has aggressive vision at the moment, it's all defensive vision. Yeah, when and they've got, got the like bounty and the Nyx. You really well, want to get the vision. 
You really want aggressive vision every way that you possibly can. I mean, like... Oh, Tibbers is going to die. Goodbye, Tibbers. Nice knowing you, buddy. He didn't get the track off, though. No, Earthshaker. It he's was always going to happen. Blink dagger as well now, so he's got himself a blink dagger, so he's going to be able to initiate into fights now. Life Sealer has picked himself up a basher to go with his armlet and hand of Midas. Hand of Midas is off cooldown. Why is it off cooldown? Hand of Midas should never be off cooldown. Sorry. <laughs> just mechanics of the game that I just sort of sit there and think, yeah. Uh, but here we go, we do have a Timbersaur, he's coming down into this bottom lane with the Rubik, they really want to try and jump in. There goes the Nick Assassin running right by oh, him, and so Panda. does the Bounty Hunter, they don't actually pick him up. And there we go, the track is now on him, they need to get the Rubik to come in. He needs to rage, but he does it way too slow, and I think Rubik managed to steal Cold Snap. Yes, he had a Cold Snap up, so he that was, was Cold good. Snap the Life Stealer and slowing him down. Holds on to Rage for the... Uh, trying to get it, but this is the second time he's done it. Held on to Rage for the very last second, and he just doesn't have enough health to survive the right clicks by that stage. And they've already used all their spells, so what are you blocking? You're just not blocking anything. There's no point to it. Shads? I think we lost Skype. Can you hear me now? There we go. I don't know what's happened. How long have I been out for? I don't know. You weren't out for long. Like I did my spiel about the whole, you know... I think I might have muted uh, my mic when I scratched my ear. Um, I was just commenting that... Oh, here's a big engagement. Tranquility is taking a lot of damage down here. Martin's going to get stunned up, though. And is he going to go out? Soul Assumption could kill him. No, he's going to get away pretty easily. And the Sun Strike doesn't manage to pick up either. Timbersaw is charging around. He's got nine charges on his Bloodstone at the moment, giving him plenty of health and mana regen. And no, no kills there. Bounty Hunter almost went down. But I was trying to comment on that there's a Basher now on, uh, on the Life Stealer. And Invoker's actually managed to pick up a Blink Dagger, as has Earthshaker. Right on looks like she's going towards the Lincolns. And there's a Mech on Visage. So plenty of farm going around for, for uh, MI6 at the moment. Even LPK aren't too shabby. They've got Mana Boots on the Nyx. Drums and a uh, Drums are now an Ogre Club plus Phase Boots on to Bounty Hunter. We have an infested Earthshaker with a Blink Dagger Echo Slam. But it's only a level 1 Echo, but that is still a kind of a jerk combo. And look, look, I know, but you've got... There's going to be an un unwarring... Oh, Bounty Hunter did soak up a nice big arrow there. There's the media. Doesn't actually manage to hit anyone. 425 is running around. He's going to get stunned by Fissure. And here comes Lifestyle. He's still in there. The Echo Slam hasn't gone off, and neither is Lifestyle. Lifestyle is still inside, I think. Oh, no, he's not. What am I saying? No, Ignore me. And look, here comes the Kunker boat. Kunker is going to hit nobody with that boat. Visage takes a triple kill there. Just solo something at the right time, right place. And now, stop. He's going to have to launch, and he takes a big stun. Yeah, poor Sop, he's not going to be able to get out of this. Kunker's the only one left now to uh, defend this lane. All he's got for the damage-wise is face boots. So even with the, just those face boots, he's not going to have enough. And there we go. We do have the slow come out from the life steal. Oh, he is good night, Bammies. He's to miss the tyrant. Good stomps there coming out by the familiar. Is it stomp? Yeah, stone, stone form, sorry. Good stone forms coming out by there by the Visage, and now they're going to have to try and get out of this lane without too much of an issue. And Visage, he is hanging around, he is going to be the bait. He's oh, managed to move himself into a pretty oh, nice Oh, bad luck. He's but going he to die here, that's a lot of gold for Nyx Assassin. Yeah, but he bought up a gem just before he died, so there's Smart the gem man. that they're looking for. That's the gem that they wanted. Dyer's middle tower so this is going to basically attack. shut down the bounty hunter roaming around as he pleases and also going to shut down any sort of vision that um, LPK have um, around this map because I mean like there's nothing worse than a visage that has familiars that fly above the map so any high spots that you have wards he can still see them from the low ground. One visage is so good with a gem you just got to protect him as, as well as you can and he's going to end up just rolling through your wards. There's not too many on the map at the moment, most of them being in that middle lane, and they're all sort of the sentry wards that I've drawn up just here, and we've got that top rune ward as well. Shout out to Indy as well, for being a whiny little girl. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give another nice shout out. Um, what have we got? Is, what's, is Martin going to pick up? He's going for the BKB instead of the Desolator. I don't, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Roger Dodger, big kill in the middle lane. And I just saw the remnants of that media. And you can see the little bloodstone mark there. You've got the fissure there. That's just too much damage from MI6. It's just a good pick off. I think 
LPK are probably going to get a tower on top lane. Panda's going to push into that bottom tier 2 tower. He's going to teleport out as the TP comes in. He's going to regroup up. Where'd he go? He's going to top lane. Trying to defend that. His minus is up. He's going to deny the tower as well. So smart play there. Panda denies LPK a little bit of extra, go a little bit of gold. Roger and Space Cadet now just making mean, mean work of that middle tower, and they're taking down to about 12, 1270 HP. And those, those early strike, oh, sorry, the Forge Spirits just hit so hard. And what is Rubik got? Rubik has Forge Spirits now. Oh, oh 425, you're in trouble, buddy. Right Soaks up a big stun. Now Roger's in trouble as Martin comes in. Martin does get the track off. There's going to be no Mirana ulti here to save him. But fortunately, Tibbers and Tranquility come in to help. And here comes Sop. Sop does pop the dust, though. The boat and the torrent both miss. Lights are on. No one's home there. And here comes Echo Link. And, oh, check out. Big Echo Slam onto three heroes. And it's going to take out Martin up there. Bambi's is going to go down too. Swap goes down. Three down. Big plays from that Earthshaker Mirana and the Life Stealer. And that was just a big little bit of dominance. Yeah, Rubik's now running. And a cold snap's on him. Life Stealer's chasing him. Life Stealer's open wounds up in about a second. And there it is. Hung's going to go down as well. That's a full team wipe for MY6. Great play there. There's a... Nyx is now back up. He's going to try and defend. He's not going to be able to do much. He's going to vendetta around. Is he going to try and pick up just a Dyer's sneaky skill? Massage knows. I don't Dyer's know where the gem's gone. Has fallen. Oh, Life still has a gem and an Abbey Blade. He hurts. Yeah, Abyssal Blade now on Life Stealer. He's just going to be pumping out so much damage right about now. Still has the hand of Midas up. And there we go. Look at him. He just goes straight down on top of that, Nick. And it doesn't matter. You can Incoming arrow. He's just going to rage. And that's it. He's Life Stealer's just going to rage. He's going to be able to hit you through that spike carapace. So you're not going to be able to block any sort of damage or stun him up coming from that. And I feel sort of sorry for the Nick's right about now. Because he's just basically getting um, everything on his body handed to him. But Earthshaker, we do see him walking all the way back to base. Poor Bugger has to go all the way back. Short on mana, short on everything. Does have mana boots. It'll be interesting to see what he actually picks up. He's got himself a staff of wizardry, so I'm wondering if this is actually going to be a four staff. We'll have a four staff Blink Dagger Earthshaker coming into this match. And that'll just be amazing. That'll be amazing. He could just initiate from wherever that. The Arganims will help him just as much, though. And I believe Naga got another item. What a joke. And goodbye, Ragnarok. It was a good conversation while it lasted, but he's actually just been hearing from me. Um, so, Skype doesn't seem to like that. And it doesn't look like we're having a fight at the moment. There, we've got MO6 sort of heading around to bot. Sops is going to use his Timber Chain and just zoom away. He's only got two charges left on those Bloodstone at the moment. And here comes Ragnarok. Welcome back. Nice of you to leave me. Yeah. I have no idea what happened. I think my net just decided to have a little bit of a hissy fit. So I am now back into the game watching as well. The score is 0-0. Zero and zero. Look at that. Have a look at that. It's been a really intense game. Yeah, absolutely nothing happened. But we do have a Nyx. He's down here. He knows there's actually a sentry ward down there because he was getting attacked by one of the creeps. And Evoker managed to destroy the tower on... Top lane. Lanes. Split push with the four Spirits. Ah, four Spirits. And as I said, he's got those four points up now in his quest, so he's got those uh, two Forge Spirits. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me from here on in. Goodbye, Ragnarok. And there he goes again. Uh, so, once again, Ragnarok just disconnects. He doesn't want to stay in here. He's being mean. And what did Rubik end up stealing in that little clash? He's got Sacred Arrow. That's not going to bode well for Roger or Panda at the moment. And you can see Tibber up here. He's up on that ledge. He really wants to get in there and get that big echo off. Last deal is going to infest inside of Tibbers at the moment. And this is going to be bad for uh, for, uh, for LPK if they get caught out here. They just... What... MI, what MI6 have at the moment is going really well for them. They've got that split push from the middle lane, which is pushing straight up. They've got top pushing for them as well. They can send those forged spirits around. Plus, they have the global presence at the moment because of the levels. And it looks like Dining Hunter's going to be in trouble. Big damage from Media. Is he going to go down? He does end up going down. Beautiful play from Space Cadet. Getting a perfect Yules Media Sun Strike. Deafening Blast combo off. And it was just... Too much damage for Bounty Hunter to survive. And here comes the Blink Echo from uh, Tibber. Big damage on the stop. Timber Saw is going to get pretty much dropped. He's going to go down. Earthshaker does his bit and gets killed. Panda comes in on Hung. Boat missed by a Conker. There's a life that's a buyback from Timber Saw. 425, the next assassin's now going down. Panda is just ripping into him. 
We've got Visage now just trying to soak up as much damage from he can as he can. Sop did buy back. He's taking a lot of damage now. The cold snaps out. Sop's trying to kill that Visage. He's not managing to do so. Is he going to find him? No, he doesn't get a tree. He's going to go down as well. Roger Dodger did go down there to the Timber Saw. So a two for five trade. I think Kunkka did buy back as well. And Lifestealer just rips into him in the tower. We could see a GG call out. All five are dead again at the moment. Nine seconds on Bounty Hunter and ten on the Rubik. Panda again at MI6 are going to be rewarded with that bottom tier three. Ooh, the Glyph could save them. I expect to see that tier three tower going down. Space Cadet yules himself. A little bit cocky perhaps. But that melee rack is most likely going to fall. Rubik's trying to defend it what he can. And there's TPs coming from outside. Martin and 425 both coming from a big wraparound. And here comes the Impale out onto that Visage. Visage is most likely going to pop. Is he going to go? There he goes. And now 425 is going to go down. Panda just deals too much damage. Godlike streak at the moment for him. And now goes Hung. Hung takes the Abyssal Blade. That Rax on the bottom lane is going to get finished. Six seconds on Conquer, nine on Timbersaw. Bounty Hunter is still alive. But he's really not able to do anything Giant because of that gem that Lifestyle has just been carrying with such pride. So great, great games there. What's up? It's looking very much... <laughs> Welcome back, thank you. It's looking good for MI6 at this stage. Martin is... Martin's hiding and we've got a... Torrent onto Panda. Ragnarok's gone again. Oh! I don't know what you're doing, buddy, but it doesn't seem to be working. And Martin no is going to try and snipe the courier. He does. He snipes that courier. A bit of extra gold for him. But Martin is probably going to lose his life. He's got 10 seconds before he's up. And here comes Panda. Panda's just going to rage, open wounds, and just obliterate him. Beyond godlike now. What's his score at the moment? He's 12-4. Panda is just rampaging straight through LPK now. He is a one-man army, and they can't stop him. That's not to say his teammates haven't been supporting him, but at the moment, there is nothing that LPK can do to shut down that lifestealer. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, this lifestyle has just sort of been beast all game. And now he has himself a fine rapier. And a lot so of him against Lions, and how could he tell is 4 to 5 going to go down? Beat One, there we go. One smack, and Invoker picks up the kill with a Sunstrike. <laughs> Two smacks and Invoker Sunstrike. You got one before the uh, Yule. He's hitting, one five, he's hitting 600 damage before Feast. Yeah, this is just like ridiculously overpowered. This is just like basically, yeah, we've won the game. I would love right now to see the uh, the life sealer just to go down. Life Drop it to conquer, but look at this. Look how much damage even Sop takes. He runs from the torrent. He doesn't want to get too cocky. Rubik did manage to steal open wounds, and they back down. There's nothing for them in that bottom lane rag. They're not going to find any anything down there. Yeah, Lifestealer doesn't have any mana left, so he wasn't able to rage to miss the torrent or do anything else. So basically, I think we're just going to have Lifestealer roaming around for a little while, beating down on everyone he possibly can until he has enough mana up. And there we go. We do have the Marana. Oh, the torrent misses. Oh, Roger's in trouble. No, he doesn't fling him back. Starfall. No need. Yeah, Hung Starfall. Ah, there's a disconnect from 425, but that's not going to really do much at this stage, to be to be completely honest. Yeah, we have um, a Marana who has a uh, Manta style as well as a Desolator, so she's going to be hitting time. very, very hard um, on all towers and everything. And there we go, Timbersaw looks like he's in a little bit of trouble as well he's right about now, and he will just get absolutely annihilated. Three hits up the score, and the GG call comes out from Sop, and that will be the game. And That will be the match. Series. That'll be the series, yeah. Oh, look, they can't end it just there. Look, 425's going to go down. The GG's have been called. I'm wondering why the screen hasn't actually come through yet. Dyer's middle tower has been destroyed. Yeah, but it's going to give it a second. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Well, it will be coming, coming very sh quickly. At least uh, MI6 are pushing straight through. They're going to go straight to the shrine. I don't know if they're going to... There it goes. There we go. Oh, Echelon from SCD gets an oh. item. GG, well played to both teams. Congratulations to MI6. They will go through. And LPK are going to go into the loser's bracket. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. All I can say about this entire match is Earthshaker and Invoker smash face. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Well, life, it was, you got to thank the supports as well. I mean, Earthshaker did quite well. He got zero kills, three deaths, 20 assists. Even Visage, 8-3-16, beautiful play from Visage there. He was hitting so many of those perfect solo stumps. He was doing really well with his familiars as well, just using them to, to counter ward and things like that. It's 
It was really good play, and it was just unfortunate that LPK, they looked like they had the early game, but they weren't managing to find just enough kills, and that life stealer just seemed to get left alone for far too long, and he just really spiralled out of control, and far too much for LPK to actually handle. Yeah, I mean, basically, he got his armlet up in about, I think it was about, what, eight, nine minutes? And, it was um, quick. From that po yeah, from that point on, basically, he was just able to roam around the map, um, doing as he pleased. And I mean, like, the Infest, once the Earthshaker got the Blink Dagger as well, the Infest Earthshaker bomb is just, like, so, str so strong. Like, we talk about the Pucks and the Queen of Pains and everything, but, I mean, you have an Earthshaker just jump straight in, massive Echo Slam, and then have the Life, uh, life Seal up. Infest damage comes straight out on top of it as well. I mean, you just really can't... You can't put anything down to it. Um, it was just work, good team play. I mean, they did lose a little early in the, uh, in the early game, but I mean, with heroes like Lifestealer, uh, Invoca, and Marana, it's the late game you're really looking for. It really is, and they, they got to that late game perfectly. I've just chunked a bunch of licks, links in the stream for you guys. That's all the stuff you should check out. Twitter, YouTube, Twitch... Uh, TT Esports is there. They're our sponsors from this tournament. Uh, big shout out to them for providing all the prizes. And of course, Southern Cross Dota, come join the forums. We play games and do things. They're a pretty cool community. Um, SCD's put on this tournament for you guys. Nice. You shush. And Ragnarok, if you just want to chuck your. I didn't say anything. Chuck your